I visited Costev recently and checked out the visual arts students and spoke to their trainer. Just look at the youth of tomorrow. Sam Amuthitu heads up the visual arts department and spoke to me about the importance of art in our country. When it comes to opportunities, um, like for us, we are the foundation. So we give them the basic, basic skills that um, at the end of the day, they will get away with a level two uh, certificate. And uh, the level two is now the, 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 mostly the beginning intake for College of the Arts. So they can go and uh, further their studies at College of the Arts where they can get now a, a level five uh, diploma. And uh, from there, they can still continue now with a higher diploma or a degree at uh, University um, Chunam. So um, other than that, they can also um, start already, you know, um, with, their, their, with their trades whereby one can be a, a printer doing uh, textile printing, um, becoming a, a, a full-time visual artist as a painter, a sketch artist, or a performance artist, or installations. Depends also on uh, their concepts, on what they actually want to, um, uh, or what message they want to inter um, portray out there. And uh, they can also create exhibitions. And uh, as, as a, um, arts and craft, we can always um, help them to you know to organize in terms of so on supporting them maybe with materials at some point and uh, also to find them sponsorships at some point personally i do believe that um, visual arts itself is an investment into yourself because i believe that this is um, the skills that do not expire so most of the job that uh, most of the people that are mostly after um, that, um, or let me say, a lot of um, careers that a lot of people are after, they have expiring date whereby mostly you are only allowed to perform those tasks until you reach 
age of 60. And then from there, if you are unemployed, then you have nothing to do with uh, those skills that you have obtained from universities, uh, rather than just be, uh, you know, you, it's good to have, to, to, to have a lot of knowledge, but in terms of being productive, it might be a little bit of a challenge. But you as a visual arts, you can always, you know, uh, be at home and try to be more creative by using whatever that is around you. So with these uh, skills, um, you know, during the time when you're at home, you can have your own studio at home and, um, you know, you can use um, any materials like uh, recycling, uh, plastics. It's, uh, it's one of the biggest things that is happening nowadays for us trying to create that awareness of um, uh, global warming. So it's, it, you can be an artist that uh, uses different sort of materials, as I said, plastic, tires, and uh, any of the um, um, materials that does not decompose that, but uh, rather than destroy our our, um, our our earth on a sustainable um, way. Many youths just chasing the guap and ignoring the arts. I asked Sam how important it is for students to pursue this career. Well, on one side, I can say that um, um, art have it's a it's a it's a very broad term. So I define it as. The, the study of universe. So uh, in uh, mankind, everything that exists that was man-made, it's called arts. So you first have to design, and how do you come up with, it, with designing? You have to uh, visualize. Um, and uh, by visualizing, you have to, 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 to put it, uh, I mean to solidify the concepts and uh, with, uh, with the assistance of any medium that you want to use. So it can be music, can be um, uh, body language, can be now painting, can be sculpting, can be anything. So there's different ways of expressing yourself. So with art, I believe that it's, imp it's very important because then it allows us to become more creative and also to start thinking out of the box and to find different uh, different solutions to different problems that many people cannot solve. Maybe the only thing that I will suggest is to have art as a very serious um, subject in, uh, in schools. It should be taken very serious, especially in our country, our, uh, our small developing country. We have a lot of uh, creative people in this country and uh, most of them, they actually want to find um, different means of expressing themselves and also to benefit uh, something out of it, like uh, to also make a living out of it, because not everyone was meant for technical and academic sort of um, uh, uh, um, school. Um, so most of the, I mean, there's a lot of things that you can do with, uh, with arts. I also spoke to some of the students who seem to be thriving in this class. The reason why I chose this course is because I have a really, I have a thing for computers and I usually fidgeted around with things and I went there was something called graphics design. So I went in depth with it and looked at it and then I saw I could study it here. So then I decided, okay, let me go try it out. I think it's great, uh, especially for people who are not a fan of schoolwork and like things like not academics and math. No one wants to do like office jobs. No one likes office jobs. I think it's very good, especially for young people, because us young, you know, we're still developing and stuff. So like things like this is also nice, especially if, like they need leap year or something. Then you can do this. It speaks to me. Um, I find I find my thoughts to to be at peace and tranquil once I paint. Um, it, my ideas that always run through my mind, when I put it on paper, then it helps me calm down and it's my way of expressing how I feel and think. What I've learned in graphic design is that I can get to be more versatile with um, the mediums that I use, um, learn how to communicate with people because in graphic design you need to learn how to communicate and so with photography as well it really brought out that spectrum of of visualizing the landscape and the people and everything so 
why I, what, what I'm going to do with graphic design in the future is that it's just a, a versatility in, on my belt. Like, use different mediums and see whether which one fits me or not. Because honestly, as a young artist, you'll find your style only later in life. So um, I'm trying to find my style. And so this whole experience is getting me to learn to find it, to find myself with art. People that are struggling when it comes to their mind, I find it that art can help with that because not it cannot just be always academics. Like you need that the soul, the food of the soul, if I can say, where where art entertains us, it brings people together and. Um, from a person such as myself, I'm calling out for people who are similar like me, who struggle with the mind. <laughs> so it's honestly the best way to let out your feelings and expressions. So people who struggle to speak out, basically. And with that, it's a wrap. Thanks for watching.